Hi and welcome back to Springy Family Gaming. It's Mummy McSpringy here. Woohoo! Yay! And I'm in my new build. The one that you've all been waiting for for quite a while for me to do something more, something more interesting. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. Something more interesting. I am building the extension of my chop saw system the way my other one is. And I'm going to explain to you how it works and what to do. So, we've already covered this part here. You already understand that. You might not understand what's going on under the hood, so let me just move along and show you just a little bit. Uh, there we go. This is a delay. Right. The first thing we have is the da 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 lasers. The lasers. Now, what are the lasers doing? When the truck passes through the wires and breaks the connection, it will send a signal to two inverters to invert the signal to an AND gate. So both need to be inverted and signaling to make these two wires light up blue to the AND gate that says yes. Both the lasers have been cut at the same time, yes. We're going to send a signal to d the delay, yes. That delay is then going to open the hatches underneath it. Let's go under and have a look. Yes. So, AND, AND, delay signal to these hatches that are all connected and all wired up all the way round. So after a few seconds of passing through those lasers, the hatches will open. The wood will still technically be on your truck. That's right. So you are in your seat, sitting roughly about here in your truck and the hatches have opened because the, the wheels have activated the lasers. You will then hit this fan dangled little button, boom, and your truck will spawn. You just saw it pop up over here, yay. The wood will drop down into here and it will come across on the conveyor system and start climbing. Climbing ready for chopping. I'm going to be putting a chop saw right on this corner, right here. So any wood longer than nine units, now I'll show you what I did to measure it. I want to explain it to you properly. Okay, this climbs up how many conveyors? Let's just count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven conveyors high. Then there'll be maybe two or three directly under it, just in case the wood is extra long. From the edge of the ninth, uh, the seventh conveyor, there will be a cube, and that'll be the start of your nine unit measure. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, through there. And once you reach nine at the end of the nine, that's when you start your pressure plates because you want anything over, um, anything under 10 units to pass through without issue and anything over than 10 units to be chopped by the chop saw. So the chop saw starts here and it stops at the pressure plate. The wood will come through, balance, activate this pressure plate and the chop saw will start chopping the wood and once it's chopped the wood will drop down nicely and feed through without spitting out um, being too long. So that's the whole idea of the system. Why do we do nine units? Well, it's slightly over nine units because these pressure plates are, are just um, like half a unit back, half a unit back from this point. So you'll get the most yield out of your wood, which is great. Now, these two here, buttons, will be hooked up to um, lights and an XOR gate. Here is the XOR gate. So the XOR gate means that either pressure plate A or pressure plate B can send a signal to activate the chop saw. This is the signal for the chop saw right here. It doesn't matter on the XOR gate um, which 
um, pressure plate the wood hits as long as it hits one or the other and the reason why we make it span the whole width of the system is because wood has the opportunity to feed through from the entire conveyor left or right and come through and hit the pressure plate and be activated by this XOR gate compares two input signals to generate an output signal based on a logical operation. Um, they don't have to be together, they can be AND OR. That's why it's X OR. Um, so, we're going to hook these two up to these two here. Boom, boom. We're going to hook the lights up. So we've got green and red signal wires, just like my other setup. So, across the edge of here, that's why we've got this lovely groove here. You can see the groove. Um, we might put the... I'm going to work out which is stronger, the red or the green signal, and decide which one goes on top. Or I might put them in tandem, right next to each other. We'll see. Um, but the one thing I do know is that I do not want these toggles affected by the neon wiring, because that does happen. You have to be very careful. Um, so the two neon wires are going to be, well the way I can get around it is to flip this system upside down and use, yeah I could flip the system upside down. I don't know why I didn't, I had it upside down before. So if I flip the conveyors upside down I have a whole two spaces for neon wiring that will not affect the toggles. Yeah, because there will be, um, yeah, there will no be no need for reversing. Yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do red and green signal wires. Red means the machine is on, it's dangerous. Green means it's safe to move around and maneuver the wood. Yeah. Once it spits out here, we need to climb again briefly. In order to drop it onto a truck. So here is our truck. We're going to have to move our truck spawner over here more just so it's right on the edge and build the garage for it just here because this is the end of our base plate. Um, we're not going to get much height. We don't need much height which is great. We can creep the vehicle forward in order to fill it as long as we get a little bit of height off the end here. So I think we're okay. It's a very long system. Um, wood sorting. What would we do with wood sorting? We've got the chopping system done. We Do we have the ability to wood sort straight off the end here? I don't think so. Look, we've only got this much room. So what is the purpose of this main conveyor? It is to make money. It is not to store wood. Yeah, just to make money. Look at this, it's broken. Nuts. Check it out. Crazy. Okay, so what are we doing then? Well, let's move this here so we can rotate that. Uh, that way. Lift it up. E. Flip it around the other way just to catch wood at the other end. Right, that's that done. Um, okay, now on the back of the pressure plate I can put this XOR gate. So the signals tilt. Right there. Like that. The back of the pressure plate is fine. The front of the pressure plate will become active, just so you know. Um, let's grab a wire and do a quick wire test, output test. So, this is A. A goes to this. Ta -da. B goes to here. Ta -da. 
Also, the chop saw. Actually, where are my. Um, there they are. Let's grab these. We're going to line these up. Just going to stick them here. That's accurate. Yep. So we're going to line these up with the end of the conveyor system. Let's line it up here. How high are we? we? Need to go slightly higher. Let's just take this one. And we're going to tilt it. Like that. And throw it there for a sec. Yep. That is the height. I'm going to grab the chop saw. Open it up. Lovely chop saw. Rotate it. We're going to make it chop on the end here. We're going to line up the blade. Come on. Just check. Is that no, that's no, it needs to go over one. Yeah. Yeah, let's just drop the blade and see where it chops. Yeah, it needs to go over one. Move. Yeah, I think that's it. That looks it. Let's chop, check, chop and check. Yay! Okay, we've got it chopping in the right place, finally. Um, we can move this. I love my wall stuffs. They're like my little lifesavers. I'm going to leave those two there because I'm going to run some wire around. Um, okay, so the output is right here and I need to run the wire across to that. So let's grab a wire. Thank you. Yay. Whoops, I got myself stuck. Oh, it's a bit laggy. Who's in the game? Um, right, so this is going to go from here. Is it right on target? No, it slipped because of the lag. Right in the middle. There we go. Um, we've got to be very careful here. We don't want to touch. We don't want to activate the pressure plate by moving this wire. Let's zoom out. Back. It's going to stretch it out a bit more. won't go all the way so we're going to go to here and then we're going to go to underneath let's go to there okay that is active so now when this pressure plate is touched see it chops yay then when it's released it stops perfect now the only thing I have to do is um, get an inverter. Now the inverter is going to um, change signal wires from green to red. So green is going to be the passive color and red is going to be the active color. So an inverter will be able to tell the difference between the two. We get uh, an inverter. Where are my inverters at? There we go, there's an inverter. So right now on top of the um, on top of the system, okay, um, we will have green wires and through the inverter they'll be active and then the output will be different. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wire that up too. Tilt, rotate. That is active, passive. Sorry. I feel like I'm just stacking more and more on top of each other. 
Okay. Alright. This wire is going to cross with that. I don't want to do that. So let's put it next to it. Check there. Oh, it's touching. Okay, I'm going to have to move that wire. Alright, so um, when this one becomes active, I will run a little wire to there. And that will change it from red, from green to red. That will turn off that green and activate the red. So let's test that. Let's grab another basic wire. I'm going to have to change wiring just a little bit because I need multiple signals to come out. So we're going to go here and we're going to come halfway to the dongle, just halfway. Halfway. Right, that's great. Um, this one we're going to move. So this will go here, here, there, there, like that, that's tidier, let's just, just see if this works, well let's try not to do it and kill ourselves, yep, okay the inverter is doing its job, so we can run a red wire off the bottom, here we go, and a green on the top, yay, okay, awesome. Okay, green wire, green wire, love my green wire, my lovely smooth wall, right, smooth wall, rotate, bam, um, let's put this in here, tilt, rotate, rotate, Watch out, you're going to get cut. Uh, we need another one. Let's grab another one. Okay, let's put that one there. Close enough. I don't want any angle. I need one more. I'm, what I'm going to do is take the one off the back. Move and stick on the front. Like that. Yay. Then I'm going to take that one. Boom. Put it next to it on this side. That one there. I need another one. I'm going to put this one right here, yay, move the one off the back, move, just put it back here. Right, now we have um, a place to run the wire. We have a place to run the green wire, which means passive. So, let's take a green wire and we're going to start here. And go up like that. And then we're going to run across carefully because we don't want to activate the wires under it. I'm going to be careful. Let's just zoom out. This is very hard. We've got to go slightly higher. So I'm going to jump on this wire. There we go. All right. Um. So we are higher, we are higher, let's bring it in so it's balanced, done, go up, oh the angle is so tough, no, come on guys, come on, that's, I think that's slightly out, is that slightly out, back, let's just put it there. Let's run it to there and down to let's just go back a little bit. Uh, there. Looks so distorted. Okay, let's and drop it there. Okay, green. Green means active. So when this goes See the light goes off. See? Yay! Yay! Okay. Now the red is comes from here. So we need another plain wire to start that one off. Let's grab a plain wire. Oh, let's run underneath and grab a plain wire. Regular wire. 
Okay. Okay, so this is going to be for the red wire. So this goes here and comes out a little bit. Boom. Uh, and we're going to come up and we're going to put it. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to go back. I'm going to wrap it around the back. So let's go in here and E. Come to there. The wire is not too short. Come on. That'll do. Okay, it looks a bit messy, but the the purpose of it will make sense in a second. Let's grab our red wire. Boom. Red wire. Okay, so red wire. E. Um we're going to go here. Let's go behind it. There we go. It's down. E up right along the edge of it. Right along the edge. E. Is it? Is it straight? No, it's not straight. It needs to be straight. There we go. E. Let's run it across. E. And let's run it down. E. Is that straight? Yes, that's straight. Perfect. Okay, let's remove these. Uh, e. Move. You can go here. Come on. Down. Is that one? Move. Down. Move this. Move. Down. Okay, chop system is ready to test. Okay, so you can see this green wire with a black wire running around it. It looks great just as it is. So if I jump up and activate the pressure plate, yay! The green wire goes off and the red wire remains active. And then when I jump off, the green wire comes back on and the red wire goes off. And with that, I can run the same signal wires to the sides of the conveyor to show that they're active or inactive, which is awesome. So that's why I've left this um, little, like on the green wire, you can't see it, but right here, where is it? Yeah, even, even at that point, which is currently passive, I can run a wire down and hook it up to here. So let's do that. Okay. Um, boom. Okay. Um, so you can see it there. E. I have to be careful, so I'm going to run to here, and then I'm going to run down to that. Okay, right, now this becomes an active wire, uh, passive wire, and from that passive wire I can run the green all the way down the chop saw. Yay! So let's do that. Do we have any more green? Green neon? Okay, well, I won't be doing that today. Um, so this wood should just chop. Should just drop and chop. Yep. Oh, I've got to put the hatch in. But it should work. Yeah, it works. Yay. Awesome. Thanks for watching this episode of How to Wire Up the Chop Saw. I appreciate it having you along. And all the people in this channel, shout, chout. Shout out to the peeps in this uh, game. So we've got um, Superb Justin, 1932. We also have um, Olaf Fellow T7D. Awesome. Say hi, everyone. Um, 
who else have we got? Swag, JJ27, and Alexis Dance. Dance I27 and Dapid0258 and I think that's everybody. Yay! Here they are. Come on guys. You're awesome. Come stand around. Selfie! Selfie! Yay! What a cool bunch of peeps. Um, they're so patient. Awesome. Let's take a photo. Boom. So patient, these guys. Wow, that would dropped out the wrong side. I could probably push it back on. Ah! Yeah, I could use this to push it back on if it falls out. Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if remember, if you want to see that Discord channel of mine go up, go live, please leave a comment, leave a like. I'll get that Discord link out to you as soon as there's enough people worth enough people for me to start moderating it and uh, jumping in there regularly. So yeah, I want to see you guys in there. Um, anyway, for now, bye!